Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this video, we will learn about infinite series. In particular, we will use this complicated looking problem from the ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance and learn quite a few things about convergence, about infinite series, about how to notice logarithm and exponentiation in this sort of expressions. As usual, we will learn concepts using a problem. Using a problem. This particular problem. That's the best way to learn concepts. In fact, if you are enrolled in Chitta programs, in the Math Olympiad program, Physics program, Computer Science program, or the ISI CMI entrance program, then make sure to attend the problem solving classes which happen four to five times every week. They are the key to the success that we have had over the years. Okay, let's look at this particular expression. It says that you have a summation of e to the power minus 2nx and you have a summation of minus 1 to the power n e to the power minus 2nx and you want to divide them. And you want to know what is this equal to. It's also given that x is equal to log base e 1 by square root of tan 15 degree. We want to simplify the ratio of these two infinite series. Looks quite complicated. The first problem-solving strategy while dealing with infinite series is just write out a few terms of the series. Your mind is an amazing machine. It will immediately recognize patterns. Try out this problem-solving strategy. Whenever you're looking at complicated summation symbols that confuses you, write down a few terms of the series. You will see magically everything seems to be simpler. Let's look at this expression first. Let's convert it into the exponential form. So what you have is e to the power x is 1 by square root of tan 15 degree. Let's square both sides. So e to the power 2x is 1 by tan 15 degree and if we do the reciprocation we have 1 by e to the power 2x which is also e to the power minus 2x is equal to tan 15 degree. Now if I do e to the power minus 2x whole to the power 0 that will be tan 15 degree whole to the power 0. If I do e to the power minus 2x raised to the power 1, it will be tan 15 degree raised to the power 1. e to the power minus 2x whole square will be tan 15 degree whole square and so on. So things are starting to look familiar. Things are getting simplified. If you look at this expression, this huge expression, Let's try to write out a few terms of this. Both the numerator and the denominator. So what is the numerator? The numerator is, so first we have to plug in n equal to 0. It's going from 0 to infinity. So e to the power minus 2 times 0 times x plus. Now let's plug in n equal to 1. So e to the power minus 2 times 1 times x. Plus, let's plug in n equals to 2, e to the power minus 2 times 2 times x. And now I can put a dot dot dot, but now my mind recognizes the pattern. Let's divide it. Minus 1 to the power n, don't be confused. Just write out a few terms. It's minus 1 to the power, just replace n by 0 e to the power minus 2 into 0 into x plus minus 1 into 2 raised to the power 1 because now n is 1 
times e to the power minus 2 into 1 into x plus minus 1 whole square e to the power minus 2 into 2 into x plus dot 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 again your mind does the magic you see a pattern emerging let's make it simpler it is e to the power minus 2x raised to the power 0 so this this expression then we have e to the power minus 2x raised to the power 1 e to the power minus 2x raised to the power 2 and so on dot 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 similarly in the denominator we have e to the power minus 2x raised to the power 0 see minus 1 to the power 1 is negative 1 so you have minus 1 or minus of e to the power minus 2x raised to the power 1 plus minus 1 whole square is positive 1 so 1 times so let's not write that e to the power minus 2x whole square so now you realize that the signs will just alternate between minus 1 and plus 1 minus and plus in the denominator but we already know that e to the power minus 2x is tan 15. We already know this. This is something that we have already talked about. So just replace this. This is tan 15 degree raised to the power 0, which is 1, plus tan 15 degree raised to the power 1, plus tan 15 degree raised to the power 2, dot 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 divided by tan 15 degree raised to the power 0 minus tan 15 degree raised to the power 1 plus tan 15 degree raised to the power 2 and so on. So both of these are infinite geometric progressions with a common ratio the top one's common ratio is tan 15 degree this is equal to R, the common ratio of the top series. And the, the bottom series, the common ratio is minus of tan 15 degree. So this is an infinite GP series. The question is, does the sum, infinite GP series sum exist? Now, if you remember, what is an infinite GP series? It is A plus A times some common ratio R a times r square, a times r cube, etc. This is equal to a by 1 minus r if r is between minus 1 and plus 1. That's the condition that the common ratio needs to be between minus 1 and plus 1. Only then it will make sense to say that the sum of the GP series exists. This is a whole different discussion. It also involves the idea of limit, the idea of convergence. So, uh, if you are attending Chinta program, then you have already discussed these things in the calculus module or in the algebra module. But let's use this directly now. In the first, in the top series, the first term is 1. And in the bottom series, also the first term is 1. And the common ratio is tan 15. So it's 1 by 1 minus tan 15. And in the denominator, we have 1 by 1 minus negative tan 15. Because the common ratio is negative tan 15. Okay. So now this simplifies to 1 plus tan 15 degree and 1 minus tan 15 degree. One last trick. What you do is all of this works if tan 15 degree is less than 1. Well, it is. Because notice that tan 0 is 0 and tan 45 degree is 1. And the tan increases from 0 to 45. Because sine increases and cosine decreases. So their ratio increases from 0 to 40 in the first quadrant. So, between 0 degree and 45 degree, the value of tan is always between 0 and 1. So, it fits our requirement that the ratios in common ratio 
should be between minus 1 and plus 1. So all of this then makes sense. All of this makes sense. Okay. So we will use this tan 45 degree equal to 1 here. This is a very common strategy. Replace the 1 with tan 45 degree. Tan 15 degree. And then you have 1 minus. Remember, you can also write this as 1 times tan 15 degree. So this 1 is tan 45 degree. Tan 15 degree. And this is just tan of A plus B formula. So this is tan of 60 degree, which is square root of 3. So all of this complicated stuff comes down to just square root of 3. I hope you learned something from this problem. First thing, whenever you see a complicated summation, just write out a few terms. Things will become easier. Second thing, when you are doing an infinite GP series, make sure the common ratio is between minus 1 and plus 1. In this case, the third thing is you have to first argue that tan of 15 degree is indeed between 0 and 1. The fourth and the final thing is this trigonometric trick. Wherever you see 1, you convert it into tan 45 degree and then you use the compound angle formula. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, please continue doing beautiful problems. Make a comment to make a suggestion and um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.